Hi, you're with Chandeep at Goodly and let's take a look at the VLOOKUP function in Excel. Now, I'm going to assume that you absolutely do not know about the VLOOKUP function. You've never heard about it or maybe you have heard about it, but you do not know how does that work. So we'll start from that level and let's graduate up to actually working with VLOOKUP perfectly. So let's say we have this data here. Uh, we have a couple of shopping IDs here. Let's see how many. If we have about 100 plus shopping IDs here. We have the names of the client and we have their contact numbers. Now, please note that the shopping IDs are not repeated. They're unique shopping IDs and uh, the client names could be repeated. That's just a name and the contact numbers, of course, they'll not be repeated. So, but this is the unique key. Now, let's say, for example, uh, these shopping IDs had a problem in their orders and we want to find out the client name and their contact number. So your boss gives up, gives up a couple of shopping IDs and he asks you to find the shopping IDs in this data and put the name of the client and the contact number right up here. So if you do not know about VLOOKUP, how would you tackle this problem? Obviously, you would first copy the shopping ID, open up the control find uh, and replace button, paste the shopping ID here, um, find the text. Uh, oops, where is it? And find next. Find next, find next here, right? Uh, you would find it here. Uh, copy this value here, control uh, C. You would copy the value from here, paste it here, and then copy the, the contact number and then paste the contact number here. That's how you would do it for all the shopping IDs. But let's say, for example, if you have about not just 10 or 15 shopping IDs, you have 30, 40, 50 shopping IDs, or maybe 100 shopping IDs to find, then control F sounds to be a little tedious job. In that case, you would use a VLOOKUP. VLOOKUP is nothing but an automated control F, as simple as that. So let's see how can we find the client name and the contact number using this, uh, using the VLOOKUP. So I'm gonna keep the client name and the contact number right here so that we can test it with our VLOOKUP result. And let's see, let's apply the VLOOKUP. So equals to VLOOKUP. So when you start VLOOKUP, it asks you for four inputs. The first input is lookup value. In simple terms, this means that what are you trying to find? So I am trying to find this shopping ID. Move on. It, it asks you for a second input, uh, the table array. Table array uh, is in simple terms, that means is that where are you trying to find this shopping ID? So I'm trying to find the table array in this range. Now I'm going to lock the range, press the F4 key to completely lock it so that when I move the formula down, the range does not move. Then the column index number is uh, what column do you want it as a result? So let's say we are trying to find this shopping ID in this range. If you find it, I want the result which is kept in the second column. This is the first column in the range. This is the second column in the range. And this is the third column in the range. As of now, since I am wanting to have the client name, I would put column number as one and two. So column number becomes two. And then finally it asks, it asks me that what is the range lookup? That means, do you want to have a approximate match or an exact match? Yes, I would like to have an exact match. So false for that. Mostly you will write false here. Close the bracket, press enter, and you will have the client name. Now let's apply VLOOKUP for the contact number. So equals to VLOOKUP, look up again for the shopping ID, look up in this range, uh, make sure to lock the range with the F4 key and the column number is, becomes three, one, two, and three this time because contact number is in the third position. And then my range lookup is false. I want to have an exact match, close the bracket, and you have the phone number as well. So match this number with this and match the name and you would have the exact names. All right, so now all I'm gonna do is drag the formula down to the rest of the cells and I will have the values. So I think this uh, shopping ID was repeated, so I'm just gonna delete it from here and then keep the rest right here. Right. Repetition here could be allowed, but repetition here is not allowed. A couple of things that you should keep in mind while you're applying in the VLOOKUP. VLOOKUP will always look on the left hand side. So let's say you're trying to find the shopping ID in this range. The shopping ID in this range has to be the first column. It cannot be the second column or the third column. It always has to be the first column, right? VLOOKUP cannot do a search towards the left hand side. It always searches from left to the right and the first columns becomes its reference point. All right, the second thing that you have to keep in mind is that we have locked the range as of now. So if you're working in the same Excel file right now, the, my file name is VLOOKUP and if I'm working in a different Excel file and I'm trying to apply VLOOKUP from one file to the other file, then you would not need to have the locking. The locking automatically applies the dollar symbol. 
right? But if you're working in the same Excel file, you would need to apply the dollar symbol by pressing the F4 key. All right, so that was VLOOKUP, four parts. What are you trying to find? Where are you trying to find the column number? And do you want an exact or an approximate match? I hope you like this. You can follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and on YouTube. And you can read all our blogs at goodly.co.in. Stay tuned to Goodly and thank you so much. Bye-bye.